Jigs up, you bliss. We've come a long way for this, my friend, so buckle up, because the freelance police are taking you downtown. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. He is. You're just in time for the show. Please, no flash photography. Ahem. People of Earth. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. And now, so are you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What have you done? Oh, just enlisted a few billion followers. Touch me, and you'll have quite a happy, angry mob on your hands. Not if we reverse the effects of the hypno beam. I don't think so. For in all the universe, there's only one force chaotic and destructive enough to stop me now. But you wouldn't do that, would you, Max? Oh, no. me? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm flattered, but no, you wouldn't, because I'm going to drum roll, please. Separate your bliss. Really? What does that even mean? It means I chop off every part of you I don't like. It's like circumcision, but <laughs> double the laughs. Hey! Wait, what? Here we go! Goodbye, murderous hand! <gasps> Goodbye, gluttonous stomach! Goodbye, slothful tail! Ow! And with those naughty body parts, your vices are purged from your soul! Bye-bye! Jerk bag! I'm gonna use it to shoot you all! <laughs> oh boy, a stomach! Just what I always wanted! Now come here and let me eat you! <laughs> Great, a tail. Hmm. I just want to lie in front of a TV till I die in a pool of my own slobber. Congratulations, Max! I just beat the living vice out of you! <laughs> I'm pure bliss. Ah. Go away, rotten Maxes. I don't like you. Shoo shoo, shoo shoo, go away. Now nothing can stop me. I win. Okay, bye now. Oh, yes, my children. Let me soak in your happiness. Oh, yes, mmm, more. Oh, yes, so good. Oh, oh my, so happy. Max, are you okay? Help me grab that ponytailed freak show and reverse the effects of the beam. But Sam, I love that ponytailed freak show. I want to have his love child. No! Max, I swear to you, I'll get your vices back or kill us both trying. I love you too. Atmosphere. I think we found one of your doppelgangers, little pal. We're all doppelgangers under the skin, Sam. Target. 
Ende! Goody! Moving target! I feel a nearly irrepressible desire to shoot at anything that moves. That's the spirit. Not me, knucklehead. Look, Max, it's another one of you. He made it 20 feet from the box before collapsing under the weight of his own laziness. Ennui is one of the five fundamental forces. <sighs> no TV? Why even go on? You should all just lie on your faces and wait for death. It's true! I got nothing! I'm a failure! <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears. This guy's the death of the party. Earth. Did you remember to feed Leonard today, Max? Sure! Hey, Leonard. How's it going? <laughs> hey, looks like your paperwork finally came through. It's the deed to the United States, and it's still moist. Sybil, are you okay? Hugh Bliss shot some kind of weird energy beam all over the planet. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Oh, no! And I'm perfectly happy, Sam. Oh, and hello, Brother Max. Tangerine Dreams and Aqua wishes to you this day. Why, thank you, Sybil. You're looking especially lovely today. This is horrific. You've got to snap out of it. Snap out of what, friend Sam? For the first time in my life, I've got a perfect job, a rock-solid relationship, and an incomparable feeling of peace. I've never been so content in all my life. Don't worry, we'll fix that. This prismatology business is all a lie. Is pure happiness a lie? Is peace on Earth a hopeless dream? Are unicorns imaginary? Mostly, probably, and it depends on how far you live from a facility that processes nuclear waste. Have you had any new ideas for improving Canada? With this new feeling of peace and tranquility, I feel like my mind is alive with possibilities! 
I only wish there was some way to extend this feeling of goodwill and generosity to all countries of the world. I always suspected that when the world turned nice and pleasant, Canada would be the first to fall. Have you had any new ideas for improving Canada? With this new feeling of peace and I only... I always... How are things going with you and Mr. Lincoln? Simply wonderful! Isn't that right, Abraham? <laughs> Pretty lady! <laughs> He has such a way with words. Quite the smooth talker. Uh. It sounds like Mr. Look at me, I wrote the Gettysburg Address isn't as good with words as he led us to believe. Oh, he'll be fine once he's managed to stop hyperventilating. Meh, meh, mama. Are you two planning on having kids someday? <laughs> So long, Sybil. What's up, A.L.? How's the date going? Oh, thank goodness you two have come. Why, hello, Mr. Lincoln. You're looking quite distinguished today. What's wrong with him? He hasn't been himself lately. Whatever. You've got to help me with this date. Nothing special. You look like you're in a shopping mood. Might you be interested in, say, the United States? Oh, how lovely! We can call it Lower Saskatchewan. What a perfectly delightful name. Yeah, yeah, all right. How much are you willing to spend? Oh, such a grand country deserves a grand price. We simply refuse to buy it for less than $100 trillion. It's only fair. We wouldn't hear of it. That's far too much. I'll handle this, Mr. President, if you insist, Your Highness. Is cash all right? We've been dying to use the new Canadian trillion dollar notes. Is that a picture of Celine Dion? She's a national treasure! More! More juice! More nachos! Holy heaping helpings of high fructose corn syrup. He's eating everything in sight. Bosco, do not freak out. Attaboy! Eat up, so you'll grow big and strong. What is the world coming to? Bosco, pasta knobs! Aisle four! <laughs> oh my, that one does have an appetite. At the rate he's going, his stomach won't even fit back inside you. I've no need for my earthy stomach any longer, sir. I'm on Hugh Bliss's cleansing fast of lemon, water, and sunshine. As God is my witness, by the end of this day, you will be eating cocoa nougat butterballs again. Hey, Bosco's mom. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. What? I thought you were Bosco's mom. Oh, yes, I'm Bosco's mom, Hugh Bliss. Identity really is a difficult concept. Bosco, there's a munchkin terrorist in your store. Get excited. I'm just glad I could be of help to that poor hungry soul. You truly are a treasure, brother. Uh, uh, sister. Kindness? Charity? Understanding? When will this hellish nightmare end? We want to buy something. Goody! Here you go, Bosco. One hundred trillion in completely non-counterfeit bills. Hmm. Let me look at that. Celine Dion. Okay. Looks good to me. Here's your earthquake maker. A remote control? Don't get me wrong. I love TV as much as the next guy, but... It controls my satellite defense system. Only one button still works, though. Just press it for an earthquake. And this adheres, I hope, to all reasonable safety guidelines? Who knows? One more thing. You have to be in range of the satellite for it to work. All right. Where'd you park it? For some reason, I was suspicious of those blessed people on the moon, so I left it up there. How silly of me! 
Gotta use it on the moon. Check. Thank you, and goodbye, Brother Bosco. Hey! Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hmm, something smells good. Hey, are you gonna eat that? Well, I suppose I could share. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Samini. Hey, let go! What's this I see? Is that my stomach? Give me that hat! Oh. Hey, I feel all warm inside. Like my belly's a sort of cozy place where flavored popcorn and sugar drinks can meet and mingle. That's my boy. To the moon, Alice. Hey, Pseudo Max, how's it going? Mm. I need your tail for my little buddy here. How about handing it over? Nah. Uh. Uh. Mm. He's heavier than he looks. Aren't we all? Let's see if I can get any reception for this thing here. Well... Shame on you, Sam. Someone could have been hurt. I miss you, little pal. I'm afraid I'm going to be needing your tail so I can put my little buddy back together in a Frankenstein-like fashion. Whatever. Sam, what are you doing? You may not want to watch this. Gee! All of a sudden, I feel like watching TV and eating orange marshmallow peanuts instead of doing anything constructive. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. It's so strange. I... Have I been away, Sam? In a manner of speaking, Hugh Bliss split you into pieces, so you've kind of been all over the place. Hugh Bliss. I hate that guy now, with his phony smile and his artificial happy-happy. What do you say we tar and feather that self-righteous jerk? Good to have you back, little buddy. Time to get ourselves some good old-fashioned payback. And, incidentally, save the world in the process. What are we waiting for? What sights should we see while we're here on the moon? Have you seen the lunar lander over there? We passed by it, yes. How about the blister of tranquility? Seen it. Hmm, well, I guess that's about all there is. Sorry. See you later. Great!